What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. When Josh paid, Jonas paid and Shannon Burke were making Outer Banks, they didn't know it would become so popular. It has a 7.6 rating on IMDb which says a lot. And ever since the first episode premiered on the 15th of April 2020, fans were bonkers to see it. Being one of the newest series that has been released on Netflix when teenagers can't go out, they were eager to see what would happen to this group of several teenagers who just want what's right for John B's father. Love, mystery, romance, bad boys, fighting, and to top it all off, guns. Well, that's more than enough to hook any teenager into watching the mysterious search for the hidden treasure all while enjoying the summer. So we all know that the season had just wrapped up. Fans are eager to find out what are the production team's plans. Should we be expecting a brand new season? Are they going to find the gold? Well. That's why today, we will be looking at Outer Banks Season 2 First Look. Let's jump right in, people! What happened so far? We know that the story is about a small group of teenage friends that lives in Outer Banks, North Carolina specifically. The Cut, or a small coastal barrier island in Outer Banks, John B. can't get over the loss of the person he loved the most in his life, his father. So the Pogues, that's the name of the group, decide to go on a hunt in order to find out what had happened to the ringleader's father. What they didn't expect was finding a treasure map on the bottom of the ocean that is supposedly hiding $400 million in gold, all of it tied to John B's father. At first, the group doesn't really believe that such a treasure actually exists, but the constant troubles and barriers they encounter along the way convince them otherwise. And to make things even more interesting, the producers decided to introduce the Kooks. They are a rival gang of high-income parents from Figure 8, another small barrier island in Outer Banks. They are fighting the law, gangs, and money in order to finish what John B's father had already started. Before we go any further, we would just like to inform you, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers! Is there going to be a second season? In the 10th and last episode of the first season, we saw John and Sarah fleeing from the police after being framed for a crime they didn't commit. It was Rafe that actually killed the sheriff, but in order to protect his friend, Ward pinned the murder on John B. Stealing JJ's father's phantom, they managed to sail inland. However, the tropical storm and the police chase pushed them further in the open sea, straight into the deadly storm. Seeing how vicious the waves are, the police turns back and they pronounce them as dead. While their friends are mourning the loss of their beloved Sarah and John, we find out that the couple was actually rescued by a fishing boat that happened to be going to Nassau. And that's a town in the Bahamas. Which means John and Sarah now have a chance of retrieving the gold that Ward sent to the Bahamas. So, with the show ending on such a huge cliffhanger, you now understand why we are eager to find out anything new about Season 2. However, and we know this is not what you want to hear, but Netflix has a one-month trial period, meaning that they give the show one month to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. But in reality, it gives them one month to prove that it's worthy of renewing the contract and start production work on the new season. Knowing that the show has just barely passed the one-month test, there is still uncertainty in the water when it comes to contract renewal. We are expecting that the news will come out in late May or June of 2020. And considering the big rating it has gotten, as well as the popularity of the show, we are hopeful that Netflix will give these guys a second season. And who knows, maybe another one after that. Plot of Season 2 so, knowing that John and Sarah have just separated from the gang, what will be happening in the second season of the show? Will they be continuing their original story with the gang fights? Or will the Pogues move to the Bahamas, use all that gold to eat, sleep, rave, repeat? Well, Madison Bailey, the actress that plays Key, says that their fans should be on the lookout for some huge revenge plans coming from the Pogues. Knowing that their best friends are dead, the gang is probably going to be pretty ruthless when it comes to exacting their revenge. And not just that, 
The group will have to take care of each other even more now that their two integral members went missing. I'm interested to see if we do move forward, potentially with the second season where the Pogues' relationship is going to be without John B said Jonathan Davis, the man behind the character of Pope. He says that the gang will face one of the biggest challenges yet, knowing that their leader is no longer with them. Only time will tell whether or not the Pogues will, will tough it out or break up. Rudy Panko, on the other hand, thinks it would be a great lesson for his character if he were to learn to cope with the loss of his best friend and come out as a winner. He said, I think that's something I want to see, and if that doesn't happen, that's okay. But I think it would be a great arc for JJ and the Pogues to fall apart until we know John B is back. So let's recap. According to the cast members, the show will be about the journey of John and Sarah in search for the hidden gold in the Bahamas and the Pogues will get to exact their revenge on the people that have done them wrong. So far so good. Onward. Will the cast remain the same? Again, it's too early to tell guys, but knowing that the major operations are going to be revolving around the Pogues and John and Sarah, we can pretty much say with certainty that the cast will remain the same. So we are expecting to see more of Chase Stokes as John B, Madeline Klein as Sarah Cameron, Judy Panko as JJ, Austin North as Topper, Jonathan Davis as Pope, Madison Bailey as Kiara, Drew Starkey as the sleazy Wraith, and of course, Charles Esten in the role of Ward, Sarah's father. Any other characters that are not closely related to the main narrative of the first season could end up being dropped off. And knowing that John and Sarah are going to Naso, we are sure to be expecting some new characters to pop up there that will eventually block their path to finding the gold. Will John B prove his innocence? Well, as we said earlier, this is one of those things that has been making us scratch our heads. But considering that they are going to probably end up in Nassau, they wouldn't want to return to Outer Banks before finding the gold. By which time, maybe Barry will rat out Ray for the murder and then John and Sarah can return safely to North Carolina with all the gold they retrieved from the Bahamas. And even if they decide to return immediately, the police won't be able to find them because, let's face it, they think the couple died in the tropical storm. Will Pope and Key get together? Knowing that Key initially declined Pope's date, claiming that the honor of the Pogues is more important to her than the relationship, maybe something will change her mind in the second season. Maybe she'll grow to like Pope the more time they spend together. And finally, fans will get to see their favorite Outer Banks couple finally become official. Well, anything is possible, folks. Will JJ leave his abusive household? We know JJ and his father don't get along too well. And now that they stole his boat and crashed it in the sea storm, things might turn out for the worse. His father being an alcoholic and JJ having no money left over from the gold, JJ will probably have to go back home. And that is when the problems will begin. But then again, who knows? Maybe Pope's dad will offer him to move in with them and avoid facing his irrational father altogether. JJ did get some comfort from Pope's dad after the terrible news. So maybe they'll work something out. What are John B's plans to get the gold? Ever since the ward has been accused of killing his father, he has been taking some heat. Maybe that will be the reason he won't be able to leave North Carolina and retrieve the gold he sent on the plane. This will leave John B and Sarah plenty of time to find it and take it as their own. But then again, all of this is highly speculative and we'll just have to wait and see what the producers will have in store for us. And that marks the end of our video. But hey, who do you think will have the hardest time coping up with the loss of John B and Sarah? You can tell us in the comment section below. If you'd like more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching guys!